And it is time for Go Ohio. Matt Standridge is the man, does a great job with this segment. Usually we just see him on tape, but this morning he's in house with us live with more. Matt, looking forward to it. Yeah, Dave, you kind of teased it very well just a second ago. It's a winter hike. We have so many wonderful winter hikes that we can do around here. This one, we're headed to the Girdled Road Reservation. Check it out. Hey, there you are. Hey, I know it's cold, but you've got to check this out. Deep in the snow-covered forests of Lake County, you'll find this wood plank suspension bridge. It spans 90 feet over the icy creek bed below. Be ready to take some photos because the area is picturesque with wooded hillsides surrounding you and a peaceful stream cutting right through it all. It's fun to walk across. The bridge, which was built in 2015, will sway a bit, but the wooden pylons at each end keep you safely lofted above. The cable netting is right there if you need more support. When you look down, the stream below you is called Big Creek, which joins the Grand River, which eventually flows into Lake Erie. Just a handful of miles north of Chardon, this bridge is in the Girdled Road Reservation, part of the Lake County Metro Parks. The name itself has some cool history. Back in the early 1800s, there was one road that connected Pennsylvania to the city of Cleveland. As trade and population grew, settlers in the area knew they needed to expand the width of the road. They did that by girdling the trees on each side, which means cutting off their bark to sever the flow of nutrients, killing the tree to make it easier to cut down. With Go Ohio and crossing the snowy bridges where you live, I'm 3 News meteorologist Matt Standridge. <laughs> hey, Dave, I don't know if I can walk and film at the same time. You saw that at the end. It was slick. Yeah, it is. Let me ask you, because I have you live here in person. We've been enjoying these segments each and every week. Being new to the area, how have you enjoyed and how has this helped you, you know, make Cleveland your home now? It's been so much fun. It, I think it's so important to get out and enjoy the outdoors. But what's cool is I saw a lot of these locations around August and September when it's nice and warm. I think it's so cool to return to these places in the winter with a fresh coating of snow.